Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just going to show you how I make uh, basically an unlimited supply of health potion, wig and melt potion, in Hogwarts Legacy. So assuming that you've already unlocked the potion station from the main missions and the potting table from the Herbology quests, then the first step's complete. So next you'll want to grab Dittany Seeds. So if I come here, you'll see here that there's two items, two ingredients that I need. Hurt Clump Juice, which I have plenty of there, and Dittany Leaves, which I have 403, so I'm sorted right now. <laughs> um, but basically, to get Dittany Leaves, all you have to do is come to your map here, head to Hogsmeade, and you can either go to the Magic Neep, or you can go to Dogweed and Death Cap. So go to either of those and you can buy your Dittany Seeds. And what's good is once you buy a bag, it's an unlimited supply. So you can keep using those, you can keep growing as many as you want. If you've unlocked a room of requirement already, then even better. You'll be able to spellcraft your own potion stations and potting tables. And you'll be able to grow even more. But basically, one of the main ingredients, the second ingredient you need, is hot clump juice. So if you go here, hot clump juice. So that's really the only difficult ingredient, but it's still easy to be honest. I'll show you how to farm that so you can also get an unlimited supply of hot clump juice. And this is my herbology slash potions room right now. So what to do? Go to the world map and head over here, just north of Hogsmeade here, to Horklump Hollow. That's where you want to go, so I'll set my marker there. And we'll head over. And you can get like maybe nice 16, 17 friend. at the most from this one cave. And there's a few outside as well that you'll see. So I'll head over there quickly. And this does respawn. So you can come back to this area each time you do a quest. Uh, they will not respawn instantly. It's a bit like Skyrim or Fallout 4. You have to do it, go away, do a few things, and then come back. And what I'll do is I'll head in here now. This is the other side. At the front entrance of Horklump Hollow, there will be a few enemies, but you can just come in this way. And hopefully you've unlocked a few good spells already, but here's the first one. Basically, all the way through this cave, they'll knock about 16 to 17 Horklump juice, so it's very good. And there's also a secret area as well. I may as well just show you that in this video. There's a troll down here. Here's more Horklump juice. There's a troll, but you can quickly Easily take him out. Let's get rid of this. And more hot clump juice. You can see already got four there. And once you find that secret area, see this troll here, I'm just gonna run past him. Don't need to fight him. Just run right past. Head in here. This will be locked, like closed off when you first come here, but look at all this. Loads of Heartclump juice, okay? So just come here to Heartclump Hollow. So guys, now that you're back in your room of requirement, all you have to do is head over to Potions Table. You'll see here that I now have 57 Heartclump juice. So I have plenty there. And that was just from showing you in the video. I didn't fully go through the cave again. If I always wanted to, I can go back and get even more Heartclump juice. And you can see here, these are my, these give you randomised potions each time. You can also buy this as a spellcraft from Tomes and Scrolls in Hogsmeade. And I may make a video on just how to perfectly set up everything here, basically. And you have your Moonstone refiners here as well. That gives you 30 Moonstone each time. It comes in really handy, especially in the early game. Uh, but yeah, that's how you make Wig and Weld Potion. You'll also find some Hurt Clump Juice in the very first vivarium. I'll show you where that is right now. So if you've unlocked this first vivarium here for your beasts, head over here to this cave. You can actually dash under here so you don't have to go through that annoying animation. 
So now, come on, get up. Now, it will be here for you. I've already collected it. This does not respawn, but Moonstone does respawn in here. So every time you come in here, collect the Moonstone that you can. Over here, over here, and that's it. You'll have, now have enough materials to make an unlimited amount of Wigan Melt Potion. I might actually make another video explaining the beasts as well and breeding, things like that. But if you enjoyed this, if this helped, please leave a like and subscribe, it really helps. And I will see you in the next Hogwarts Legacy video. Thanks for watching. Bye.